Good morning, LA Pipe Smoker here. Enjoying my morning pipe with a new tobacco blend. I stumbled across uh, Jess Kratowicz's uh, tobaccos uh, the other week and uh, decided to uh, purchase as many of them as I could find. He has come up with uh, six different blends. They're small batch blends, which means that there's not a lot that are produced. Uh, and so I decided to buy as many as I could of the six. I got five of the six. They are three aromatics, two English, and a, a Scottish blend. I never really understood what a Scottish blend was, so I went online and uh, it appears uh, there are a variety of opinions as to what constitutes a Scottish blend, so uh, if you have an idea of yourself, uh, just go ahead and uh, put it in the comments and tell me what you think a Scottish blend actually is. I'd be, interesting, uh, I'd be interested to learn a little bit more about it. So I thought what I would do is work my way through these uh, tobaccos, uh, one per week, and give a little review. And we'll start today with Jess Kronowicz's T12. Uh, T13 is the one that I couldn't get, so we'll skip to T14 next week. Well, this is an aromatic, and uh, probably should mention, uh, Jess Kronowicz doesn't actually uh, blend them himself. He probably came up with the recipe, but uh, Kohlhaus Koppen Company, a German company, actually does the physical blending. And uh, so kind of made in Germany, it's a Danish blend. And it's distributed, I noticed, uh, by the same distributors of Esoterica in the United States, another famous or infamous, depending upon your, <laughs> your, your opinion, a small batch blend. And it's the uh, Arango Cigar Company of Northbrook, Illinois. Uh, though this is a small batch blend, initially I had no trouble really finding all five of the six. Uh, one was out of stock, but this morning I went back online and discovered that most of them were now out of stock. I, I guess I felt kind of guilty. Maybe there was like only one left of each and now I've completely depleted uh, the YouTube com uh, community from uh, Jess uh, Kronowicz's blend. And if, if so, uh, you have my complete apology. Hopefully they'll be restocking that. If not, I'll probably end up just giving them away. So we'll, we'll figure something out. But. Uh, I don't want to be too much of a hoarder of, of pipe tobacco. So um, I'm smoking it in my uh, Altenach Meerschaum. This is my go-to pipe. And especially uh, the go-to pipe when I want to uh, test out a new blend. Meerschaums are really good for uh, getting a, a precise smoke, a smoke that isn't influenced by other tobaccos or ghosting or so on and so forth. So it's an ideal pipe when you're just experimenting with the blend, not sure if you're gonna like it or not. But I like Meerschaums anyway. So the first tobacco is the T12. And they all have similar designs. There's a T16. And it's an aromatic. I'll read you the tin description. It's Virginia and steam cured black Cavendish uh, and a hint of oriental gently sweet Danish arom aroma. It's a rather troublesome little sentence. But uh, the idea I think is accurate. Uh, it is gently sweet. And that's what I like the most about this. When I think of an aroma, uh, aromatic tobacco, I typically think of something a little bit more on the heavier side uh, in terms of sweetness. But this isn't the case. And even though the 10 suggests that it is um, a hint of oriental, upon light up, for me, the oriental was very forward. It really came out early in the blend. I would anticipate that the black Cavendish or the Cavendish uh, tobacco uh, would be the first thing that I experience, but it's the Oriental instead. Here, let me let you take a look 
at the tobacco. It's really ready to smoke out of the tin. It's a perfect, it's a perfect uh, humidity. And uh, the way I like to test humidity is, I uh, can't remember where I learned this from. It was somebody in the YTPC. If it was you, just please feel free to take credit. I like to squeeze the tobacco and then release it. And if it just kind of slowly fragments, I know it's really at a good, good moisture level. I found that to be a really excellent test of tobacco moisture level. So let me show you the blend. Like, every time I show a blend on YouTube, it all it always ends up falling all over the place. This is, okay, well, it's my trademark. Yeah, okay, here we go. You can see the uh, Cavendish and some of the Virginias. So anyway, you light this up. And you really get the oriental, that kind of spicy, sweet, spicy smell to it. And it's really quite pleasant. As you make your way through the tobacco, you move into the Virginias and uh, the Cavendish. It becomes, uh, I guess it becomes progressively sweeter as you go through, but never really getting at least for me, obnoxiously sweet. It's an aromatic that obviously is has its tobacco cased. By cased, in other words, it's been infused with uh, sugar or some other flavor, probably sugar for the black Cavendish. Uh, but most tobacco, almost all tobacco on the market, even the ones that are pure tobacco, are cased as well, uh, but not all tobacco is topped. And by topping, you're running the tobacco through a machine or you're running the machine over the tobacco, kind of uh, laying a fine mist or, <laughs> or more than a fine mist of some flavor over the top. So this tobacco, although it's cased, uh, does not have a, uh, a topping on it. And as a result, it really doesn't smoke hot. And it's quite easy to keep it lit. I mean, look how much talking that I'm doing here and the tobacco hasn't even gone out yet. I think on a scale of one to 10, which is kind of like those scales, um, I'm gonna give this a, 7.8. It's pleasant. You know what? I'm going to boost this up to an 8.5, and I'll tell you why. Because the blend isn't expensive. Uh, 50 grams or 1.75 ounces will set you back uh, a little over $10 uh, U.S. currency. That's about 8 euros. Uh, so it's a very inexpensive tobacco, yet I think it's a very high-quality tobacco. Uh, and so far, this aroma uh, mixture, aromatic mixture, is really a pleasant smoke, even in the morning. Traditionally, I don't really smoke aromatics in the morning. I smoke them uh, more in the evening. And I'm not one or the other. Um, I know some people are devoted to English blends, uh, some aromatics. But for myself, uh, I smoke them both, but I tend to smoke more of the English blends, uh, the lighter English blends uh, in the morning, you know, with the burly uh, component. And then in the evening, quite often, uh, maybe kind of as a dessert pipe, uh, I'll smoke a heavier uh, aromatic. But, uh, you know, uh, this actually works quite well in the morning. Jess Kronowicz, T12, definitely worth a try. All right, so uh, 
the, the last part of my video, I wanted to ask your help with something. And here's what I'm soliciting. And you're not going to get anything other than my gratitude. So uh, let me uh, ask you this. I notice in a number of videos, uh, people have kind of a standard outro. Uh, certainly people have a standard intro. Uh, I think mine is uh, Good Morning or whatever, L.A. Pipe Smoker, kind of innocuous, not very much of a label. Certainly not like Matches 860. I mean, that's what that's like the most famous intro in all of YTPC, perhaps. Or Old Berg's. Old Berg's intro. Oh, God. That's the best. Um, at any rate, I was thinking about uh, asking your help on crafting an outro. Uh, something I can say at the end. Uh, so, uh, I would appreciate it if you're so inclined. Uh, to leave your comments below as to a possible outro for my video. And I'll try them out and give credit, and we'll see uh, which one I settle on. Anyway, something a little bit different to do. I was thinking a lot about uh, the happy-go-lucky Piper uh, this week and about his gaw. He had a gaw, and part of it was uh, the motto for the YTPC. And the one I came up with, I, I missed the gaw. The one I came up with, I think I'm going to post on each of my um, uh, each of my video presentations at the bottom, and uh, let me give it to you again. It was actually uh, kind of a a quotation from Meryl Streep, and she was bemoaning the lack of the, these qualities in public discourse. And I thought, well, there is a a real presence of these qualities in the YTPC. And so I think I'm going to use it as my motto. I'll give it to you today. Uh, it's grace, respect, reserve, and empathetic listening. And then I add one bowl at a time. Hope you had a nice time with me this morning. Let's see if my pipe is still lit. Can I bring it back to life? Oh, yeah. Pipe CPR. <laughs> that is a challenge. Anyway, hope you enjoyed your time with me. Good seeing you, and you have a wonderful weekend. And we'll catch you next week with a review of Jess Cronowich, Cronowich's T14. Take care.